Recently, I built this newbie drone in Visi 360 to carry my Insta360 1R. And while I was tuning it, I came across a problem I've never seen before in seven years of building and flying quads, a bad gyro. So I thought it might be an idea to show how I troubleshoot problems like this and how I fixed it. And most importantly, how I learned something. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. This is YouTube, you know what to do. Now when I say I've never come across a bad gyro before, that's not quite true. I've had a couple of bad gyros, but the symptoms were the classic twitching during a hard roll, pitch, yaw or punch out. Now this bad gyro manifested itself differently, which had me scratching my head for a while. If you watch this closely, you'll see the Invisi360 is doing little yaw twitches while I'm trying to hover. They're random and I'm not making any big stick movements. My immediate thought was the flight control is badly mounted. And if you get little twitches like this on any axis, this should be the first thing to look at. Have you correctly soft mounted the flight controller with all the gummies and have you got a good quality low ESR capacitor soldered directly across the battery input. These reduce the mechanical and electrical noise getting onto the gyro chip on the flight control PCB and messing up the PID loop, which can give you those little random twitches. Also, it's worth checking the flight controller is free on its soft mounts and not squished in the frame or catching on anything. Now, my mount and the ESR capacitor were absolutely fine, so it wasn't that, which is a little bit odd. So what next? Well, the Speedy B F7 Mini I used in here uses BL Heli S, and maybe there was a problem with the firmware, so I thought I'd just flash the ESCs, and while I was at it, I upgraded to Blue Jay firmware. To be honest, if you're using BL Heli S, you feel like a bit of a second class citizen because you're missing out on all the good features of the full fat BL Heli 32. Blue Jay fixes all that. Plus, the Blue Jay ESC Configurator browser based tools make flashing and ESC configuration and tuning just much easier. Guess what? <laughs> it made no difference. So, more head scratching. For various reasons, I'd flash the flight controller with INAF 4.1, so maybe I'd screwed up the matrix filter settings. And after a bit of fiddling and testing, I realised there was absolutely nothing wrong with the INAF configuration. And this was starting to annoy me now, especially since there's about 20 screws that hold the top and bottom plate together, and I have to take it all apart and then put it all back together to do a quick flight test. So, I decided to flash beta flight and see if the problem went away. Guess what? It was exactly the same with the same little yaw twitches. So, at least I was getting somewhere. It had to be a hardware problem. So, I did what I should have done in the first place. The same as I do if I get twitches or any strange behaviour. Break out the black box explorer. So I've got the logs loaded up from one of the flights I did. And uh, I've got up the top here, I've got the gyros, and at the bottom I've got the motors. So let's get this going and see what happens. Not very much. I mean, you see, I'm just a few stick movements here, hovering around. And we've got some pitches there, backwards and forwards. That all looks fairly normal. Nothing nasty going on. Hmm. Strange. The yaw going on there. Another yaw. Ooh. Doesn't seem to be ah look, 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 look. So here we go. This is just a gentle yaw going on. Not much pitch and roll. There's something going on on roll, but not very much. But look at that great big jump in the gyro there on the yaw and the motors have just gone bananas and if we look in the legend here let's see what happens 
It's a very, very, very quick little twitch, but you can see it. You can see it in the video. Try that again. Let's slow that down. Gadunk. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. There's definitely something wrong with the gyro because there's no stress on anything here. It's not doing anything. Just a nice gentle yaw one way and then the other way and it's gone bang and sent everything bananas. So there's definitely something wrong with that gyro on the PCB or could be some other part of it. So there's clearly a problem with the gyro or something on the PCB. Now I had a spare F7 Mini and normally I just swap it out but it's worth checking the board first for anything that looks screwed up. Have a look for any small blobs or hairs of solder or other gunk that might be causing the problem. And you can try scrubbing both sides of the PCB carefully with a toothbrush and some IPA. You never know, it might just fix it. Now I just couldn't be bothered to take this all apart yet again and do another flight test. So I just swapped the flight controller board for a spare one that I've got. And now this flies just as it should. Hopefully, even though I got a bit thrown off track, this shows a sort of logical approach to solving the your twitch problem. Yes, I could have just checked the black box logs after I checked the stack mount and capacitor and I'd have solved it faster. It just goes to show you never stop learning in this game and something different can throw you off the scent. But that's half the fun of FPV, building, flying, fixing, learning, it's fantastic. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful in any way, why not subscribe or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel? I'll see you next time.